October 12, 1997, Los Angeles. I needed to come back to the States. It wasn't impossible to sneak contraband through customs, but I wasn't willing to risk what I found in a Congo falling into the wrong hands. Instead, I traveled to Mexico aboard a cargo ship bound for the port of Altamira. From there, I made my way to Tijuana and I bunkered down. I had tangible proof of extraterrestrial life in my possession, but no idea what to do with it. I'm not a scientist. I did a soldier's duty and secured valuable intel. This was out of my pay grade. I kept an eye on the news. Los Angeles was having a record-breaking heat wave and a gang war on the streets. It was perfect. I could feel it in my bones. I'd been tracking them for so long, I could think like them. I could smell the prey. I could see the hunting ground. I had to get to LA. Crossing back into the States from Diamana wasn't that difficult, but by the time that I'd reached the city, it was already over. Like Valverde, the OWLF only found crumbs. What I'd hoped might be an alien ship turned out to be only a launching site. I wanted it too much, and I got sloppy. I breached the OWLF's quarantine and was captured. I'd hoped to be bailed out by Agent Keys, but he died. With Keys gone, the OWLF was leaderless and disorganized. I was interrogated but I negotiated my release by bartering the alien materials that I'd recovered from the Congo. During the negotiations, it was clear how little they knew. They needed someone who understood the threat, so I offered to work with the OWLF as a consulting advisor. They had the funding, the technology that I needed to continue my hunt. I wouldn't work for them, but I would work with them. There will be a weapon that I can use to hunt down these predators as they move to fresh ground. It's only a matter of time until they see us as a real threat. When the prey can fight back, it's no longer a hunt. It is war.